I met Guy at a, uh, I did a little festival in Spring, Texas many years ago. I think I was the first act of the day at 11 or something. And, and Guy was the headliner. And afterwards, we went out to this sort of ranch house to have a, a party. Anyway, we all sat around and Guy, he had just released that record, The Dark. And at some point, like three in the morning, he sits on a stool out in the backyard and the rest of us all sit around in a circle like school children. And he played the entire record, just solo acoustic. Well, Merlin Thompson was there with him. And so they just played, we got this concert, 15 people of a Guy Clark record that had just been released. And I remember him, he's got that song, D- The Dark. And there's a sort of a, a repeating phrase. He goes, how dark is it? You know, and it, and that's, it's like we were all sitting around the campfire and he was regaling us with this, how dark is it? And and we're all just sitting there like this unbelievable experience. And, and um, uh, so uh, that that record was a, a, a big one for me. And then, I, and then I, I kind of parlayed that into getting to write with him. I just called him up. I said, Dude, you don't remember me probably, but I, you bummed a bunch of my cigarettes that, you know, a couple months ago. And I'm going to be in Nashville. Can I come over and write a song with you? He said, well, come on over. Uh, so I did, and we wrote a we wrote a tune. Uh, and I played just a, a clip of it. Sorry to go to my own. There's a million guy songs, but this was just really special to me because I was sitting in his basement with that big picture of Towns over the workshop where he builds his guitars and, and watching him write down my words into graph paper one letter at a time and just the the intensity and and uh discipline with which he worked and it was shed all fat i had never seen that i hadn't done much co-writing you just kind of figure it out on your own as a songwriter like well guys i'll rhyme this with that and and to watch him uh in the approach that he had and and the lines he would pretty unceremoniously shut down of mine and say no that's crap let's this is what we're going for and that that discipline and focus was uh, uh, I wish I could say I adopted a lot of it but uh, um, but it was it was really informative and inspiring to watch so anyway this is uh, just do a verse here well, take me to river town where you can't tell night from day and everything is forgiven that did not wash away Where dreaming comes too easy Yeah, but living is twice as hard And everything is buried Beneath the water and the stars Now here I am from Corsican Wayward on the storm I've been rolling empty sevens Since the day that I was born Got no rings upon my fingers Got no ink beneath my skin I'd be as clean going out As I was coming in And I'm gonna wash my sins In the Angelina River And all that she could take from me was all that I could give her And time will take you back And time will bring you home I turned my back some time ago And now I'm going home <laughs> I forgot the lyrics to my own song But anyway, it was, it was really cool It was an amazing experience to, to walk out of that day And have written a song with Guy Clark there was this mysterious underworld of beatnik hippie intellectual redneck poets that I was so fascinated with because you had this mainstream country stuff and you had the faces of that the Willie Nelsons and the Johnny Cashes and you know you hear them talking about the people that that they admired and so that was kind of my next phase of exploring this stuff was okay I've got the guys I love and this music that means a lot to me but now I'm discovering there's this whole world of of people that are not as well known that are maybe behind the scenes but are really admired and are are maybe don't fit inside of this kind of um they're a little too rough around the edges for 
the mainstream success that some of these other guys had enjoyed and and or for whatever reason um and guy fit into that and outlaw poet intellectual <clears throat> uh, group really appealed to me and the fact that they were writing stuff like like they were writing they were pushing the boundaries of that and and you know referencing poets and <clears throat> and literature and these were well read in many cases deep thinking people who at the same time looked like the cast of Easy Rider and and just had a coolness about them that I thought, you know, that was something I aspired to, certainly. <laughs>